السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ورحمة الله إن شاء الله أمتنا في الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم لي والذين آمنوا يخيدهم من الظلمات إلى النور والذين كفروا وجاءهم الظاهمات يخيدونهم من النور إلى الظلمات So this is an uh, ayah from Surah Baqarah 257 257 and uh, we'll try to bring this into our lives inshallah Allah says Allah is the protection Allah is the protecting guardian of those who believe Allah is the protecting guardian of those who believe he brings them out of darkness into light and those who disbelieve their guardians are the evil ones they bring them out of light into darkness so you can look it up and uh, this is in the third verse and we will try to see learn about or understand the light and uh, the darknesses if we understand one inshallah we will understand the other one so, um, what other uh, says he brings the believers uh, from the darknesses into light. And there are quite a few of those. So, at the top of this, the list, we will take the darkness of the unbelief. Unbelief. Unbelief is uh, so many. We, we all know that. And Alhamdulillah, we have the light. We have the light, we have the la ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, which is the uh, opposite of that unbelief. Unbelief is the darkness and belief is the light. And we are so, so, so grateful to Allah that he gave us the light. And our goal through this, to bring this, uh, this uh, ayah into our, our lives, because the Ramadan is starting just a couple of days from today and we want to be transformed in, in such a huge manner, inshallah. So unless we understand this, we won't be able to. So the second of those is innovation. Innovation is uh, bida, and we have to understand the bida. anything we consider it as part or a gadget which wasn't there at the time of the Prophet It's considered uh, a bida or innovation and the light for that innovation is connect to the sunnah. Connect to the sunnah. Next one can be heedlessness, forgetfulness, ghafla, not uh, thinking about where we came from, where we are going, what are we supposed to be. This is all heedlessness. And the light for that is, inshallah, remembrance. Remembrance of the Creator. Remember, remembrance of all there is. Why did He create us? Why are we here? What are we supposed to do? Reminding ourselves of our role in this world. What are we supposed to do? So we need to get rid of the uh, darkness of heedlessness and continue to remember Allah, the extra remembrance that we do in Ramadan is going to make a big difference, inshallah. And next is just, just seeking out for one's fortunes, just going after the world, just, just hoping to get uh, whatever, uh, you know, whether it's haram or halal, I just want to become fortunate. I want to make the things. And the light for that is seeking to give Allah and everyone their due. In other words, the darkness is living for oneself. Who's doing what for me? No, that's, that's darkness. What am I doing for the Creator and and the creation, especially those who are around me. What are my responsibilities towards this creation? So, uh, asking for what I deserve is darkness, and 
hoping to give everyone what they deserve from me, what is due upon me, is the light. The next one is seeking this world. Seeking this world, running after the world. The, the one before was seeking oneself and trying to get attention from others. But this one is going after the world, trying to uh, get the wealth, the status, the name, and you name it, all of those things. And that's the goal. That's the end of, of the, uh, the plan. This is what I want to become, whether it's halal or haram, I don't care. But the light is seeking the world to come. In other words, the main thing is I'm here for a little bit. Maybe this is my last Ramadan. I want to make the most of my time in the Ramadan and make it the most, most, most uh, spiritual Ramadan, which is going to transform me from all these darknesses into the lights. You know, Allah is nowhere, so every light is, is coming from Him. So all these lights, we need to connect ourselves during the Ramadan. This should be our goal, inshallah. Disobedience to the Creator is another darkness. And of course, the light is obedience. It's, it's obedience. This is no compromise. Unconditional obedience to the Book of Allah, to the uh, commands of Allah, to following what our Prophet asked us to do. So unconditional. It's, a lot of times it's conditional. I will do this, I won't do this. Pick and choose. No, that's not real obedience. So that's the light we need to work on. It's, it's not just going to happen. It needs to be worked at. And then earthly desires. Our desires are earthly and we fear about losing out on those desires and we, you know, kind of, it's, uh, uh, it's kind of uh, similar to the previous one, but not exactly. There are too many desires in our hearts and we want to accomplish all of those. And the opposite of that or to take control of that is to have in our hearts, not those desires, but the desire to uh, attain Allah's pleasure, the fear of God, that I'm going to be a loser, the fear that I'm going to displease him in so many things. So, you know, we, the desires have to be not earthly, earthly but heavenly desires. Have, earthly desires are, are uh, just, just uh, passing and they are earthly things and they are lowly things, but desiring the heavenly thing and that is Allah and His commands. Reliance on one's own power and strength. That is, as we know, it's a darkness. It's a darkness because a moment, a believer, always, always has to say, Inshallah, MashaAllah, La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. And these are connecting us with the light, which is reliance on Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. I can't do anything. If I say, okay, I'll do it, that is darkness. But if I say, I'll try, Inshallah, Allah will help me. With Allah's help, nothing is difficult. Without Allah's help, nothing is easy. That's our belief. So reliance of Allah Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the light. Connecting with Allah in every which way. And then another um, darkness is living for oneself. Living for oneself. Selfish living. I, me, my, this is all selfish living living for the self, but living for him, capital H, Allah Most High, and fulfilling his commands, 
taking care of his creation, living selflessly for his creation. We don't, we don't even want any thanks from you. No returns for what we do. This is the light. This is the, these are all the best possible lives. And Ramadan has come to transform us and make us the best possible human beings that can ever live on the earth through these darknesses, uh, our transition, but then that transition becomes, it's not a transition, it's a transformation. When we go into these lives, these lives for our way of living, inshallah, we will become the light. We will become the, the pathway, the, the strength, those who show the, the straight path to others, inshallah, because we are lighted with those lights of Allah. So living for oneself, selfish living, is a darkness. Living for Allah and His creation is the, is the light we need to be in. Anger. Anger is, is the darkness. Anger which, uh, which makes us do things we shouldn't be doing. Anger is, is, is a weapon against the enemies. And initially we, we have three enemies to fight that anger. It's, it's, it's there, it's supposed to be there. But we shouldn't be like kids who throw tantrums forget the limits so reacting while while we are angry that's the anger the prophet don't get angry don't get angry means calm down before you react the reaction is going to be like they say anger is one letter short of the word danger so we might put ourselves into danger with that darkness of anger and and uh, a person who gets angry very easily it's it's a definite proof of uh, uh, of arrogance arrogant people do that so what is the light light is self control self control just delay when we get angry don't react in the state of anger delay take self control Self-control is the light, which will, uh, inshallah, inshallah uh, not allow us to put ourselves into that danger. So do, do what the hadith says. Go and uh, uh, lie down. If you're standing up, sit down. If you're sitting, lie down. Uh, in other words, go uh, do something different that you were doing while you were getting angry. Leave that place. Go use the water. Go make some wudu. Go connect with Allah. Okay. Next darkness is greed. Greed is terrible. A greedy person is a stingy person. A stingy person is a greedy person. So these two go hand in hand. And what is the light for this darkness? It's contentment. So since we just talked about the greedy person is stingy person. So if we are greedy, we have to get rid of that greed by becoming generous. And generosity will, inshallah, uh, grant us that light, which is content with being uh, uh, whatever we have, but wanting to do more and more for Allah and His creation. Holding on to that anger, that anger becomes uh, rancor and, and malice it's, it becomes solid the, the anger doesn't melt away if we keep holding on to the anger it doesn't melt away so what is the light for that anger forgiveness 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 inshallah we'll talk about uh, forgiveness and different things in a separate thing but uh, we are the beneficiaries of letting go letting go of those things and freeing ourselves of that rancor and malice in our hearts. The next one is neglecting the fraud. Neglecting the fraud. Uh, that's 
again. We will do it later. No, there's no later. Now is the time we need to do it now. This is the light and what is the, uh, this is the neglecting, it's the darkness and the light is fulfilling the fraud right away is the light. Arrogance is another darkness and the opposite of that is humbleness. What do we have to be arrogant about? There's, there's no place for any one of us to show any arrogance. So humbleness is that we need for ourselves and inshallah that we need to bring that life. Every time we feel arrogant, we need to remind ourselves of our weaknesses and become humble. And then praising our oneself is the darkness and the light which will take care of that darkness, uh, remove, we can remove that darkness from our lives is praising Allah, praising Allah. Oh Allah, there's nothing to be praised about me. The praise goes to you. If I'm doing something good, oh Allah, it's thanks to you. Thanks to you, nothing else, no one else. If I was able to do this, again, that strength came to me from you. Who motivated me to do this? And all those praising Allah, keep on praising Allah because the shaitan is very active. He wants us to do all these things that makes us feel good. But it, these are all darknesses. So praising Allah is light after light. Wasting time and money. Wasting my time and money, which we do a lot. This is the darkness. Making the most of the time and the money. For this world, take care of our needs. And the bigger need is of the next world. Of our time and the money. So wasting time and money is the darkness. And making the most of both of these uh, according to what the need of the time is. We are not going after the wants in this world. We are going after the needs. What do, what do I need to do? So, inshallah, Allah says they will have whatever they want in the next world. So, the desires are there and that's the proof that there's a place where when we work hard and we earn that place, which is called Jannah, Allah SWT will allow us to take care of those wants and desires, but not in this world. And then ignorance. Ignorance is the worst of all. All of these are because of ignorance, which is a uh, darkness, worst possible darkness. And the light for that ignorance is seeking knowledge. Seeking knowledge. The more we learn, the more we will understand. I know, all I know is I know nothing. All I know is I know nothing. And um, Allah, Allah says in Ar-Rahman, Allah al-Quran, Allah al-Insan, Allah al You know, He gave us the Quran. This is the best possible uh, gift from Allah. And what is the Quran all about? It's about the ilm, ilm of our deen, ilm of this world, the next world, um, uh, heart and the senses and uh, what is best for us, what what are the things we should ask Allah for, how am I supposed to live, how much do I need, how much in this world, how much do I need, how much do I need to invest in the next world, name it, all of these things. So Allah is giving us this month of Ramadan to practice and bring all these lights in, into our lives and, and shine like anything. Shine like anything. Anyone can you know, experience the light. We, we cannot look at the sun, but the sun comes and what lightens everything. Everything which was in darkness becomes so clear and bright and uh, seeable. We are able to look. And we are able to uh, guide others. So may Allah, may Allah make us the, the guide for ourselves first and foremost to these beautiful uh, points that um, our ulama have given us. And may, may Allah allow us to make this Ramadan the most, most, most uh, spiritual through bringing these lights and 
getting in our lives and getting rid of getting rid of those darknesses through our knowledge, through keeping company of those who have this life. Uh,